Hey, what's up everybody? Joe Cermelli here. You know, it's early spring and that means it's time to go fly fishing for chain pickerel. I know what you're thinking, Joe, nobody does this but you and you're pretty much right. But I'm doing this to urge you guys to get out there and give it a shot. These things are like mini muskies, man. They chase flies, they follow behind them, they V-wig, they just crush a streamer. I've been tying this little pattern out of mostly saltwater materials for the last few seasons and it's been working really well. So I'm gonna show you how to knock one out of the vise. And then when we're done, we're gonna put that bad boy to the test down here in the South Jersey Pine Barrens. So I'm gonna start with a short piece of 40 pound braid with a small loop and a slightly longer loop in it. The small loop is gonna to connect to the eye of a size two streamer hook, and I'm gonna put a size six streamer hook on the longer loop as my stinger. You can get away with this in the spring when the vegetation isn't too thick. If you're fishing this fly in the summer, skip the stinger, it's gonna be more trouble than it's worth. Ideally, you want the eye of the size six to lay right behind the bend in the size two. If you're happy with the measurement, cover the entire shank with thread and zap a gap to keep everything in place. Next, I'm gonna flip the vise and add a small dumbbell eye. You don't want something too heavy here because remember, you don't want this fly to sink away fast. You just need a little bit of weight so that it gets down below the surface. Now I'm gonna build the body out of two long bunches of Puglisi fiber, tying it in similar to the way you would with a clouser minnow. If you wanna fish this fly later in the summer, now would be the time to add a loop of mono as a weed guard underneath the dumbbell eyes. Now this material is mostly used to create saltwater flies like deceivers, but what I like about it is unlike marabou or bunny strip, it doesn't get waterlogged. It's gonna sink a little bit more slowly, stay a little bit more buoyant, it's gonna let it hover a little bit more, and it's gonna help you bring it over top of the junk that pickerel really like to hang out in. Now we absolutely need some flash because pickerel can see flash from a long way off. You can use whatever you want here. I happen to like plain pearl flashaboo, and I'm not gonna be skimpy with it. Now just for a little extra contrast and wiggle, I'm gonna tie some marabou into the head before I whip finish the fly. In this case, I'm going with red, but try any color you want. Once the head cement dries, I'll trim the body and taper it to make it look a little bit more like a bait fish so there's not too much extra material hanging behind that stinger hook, and that bad boy is ready to cast. That fly is about toasted, don't you think? Get out there and try this. It's a total blast. It's gonna be the next big thing.